So this is the easiest possible way to remember the brachial plexus. As you can see here, I've written down all the parts of the brachial plexus. We have roots, trunk, division, cords, and the branches. Well, you can remember these parts by the mnemonics reach to drink cold beer. I'll write it down here. So this is the mnemonic to remember the parts of the brachial plexus. We have reach to drink cold beer. So now coming to the roots, we have five roots, C5, C6, C7, C8, and C1. So now what, are we, what are we gonna do is that we're gonna bring two lines from C5 and C6 and meet them right here. Another two lines from C8 and T1 and meet them right here. And then draw a straight line like this. And another single straight line from C7. So these are the parts of the trunk. So the uppermost is the upper trunk. This is the middle trunk. And this is the lower trunk. Now each of this trunk will give two divisions. We have the ventral division and a dorsal division. Ventral, dorsal, ventral, and dorsal. So these are all the ventral division. And these are all the dorsal division. Now we're gonna bring all these dorsal division points uh, to make it to a single point over here like this okay so we'll bring all these points from the dorsal division like this another single point uh, where we'll bring the ventral divisions of the upper and the middle trunk like this and the ventral division of the lower trunk will come in the middle like this so these are all the parts of the cords so at first here we have the lateral cord this is the medial cord and this is the posterior cord now coming to the branches so there are lots of branches of the brachial plexus now we have mnemonics for most of them so the mnemonic for the branches coming from the lateral cord is yal yam yal the mnemonic for the branches from the medial cord is yam for you means you write yam for the four time and you and branches from the posterior cord will be uh, given ultra So YLML, that's the branches from the lateral cord. The first YL will represent the lateral pectoral nerve. YAM represents muscular cutaneous. And the YL, another YL, represents lateral root of median nerve okay now coming to the branches from the medial cord the yum first yum will represent uh, the medial pectoral nerve so here's the lateral pectoral nerve and here is the medial pectoral nerve from the second yum we have medial root of median nerve with the third M we have medial cutaneous nerve of arm and fourth M we have medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and the U represents the ulnar nerve. 
So these are the branches from the medial cord. Now for the branches coming from the posterior cord, this first U and L alphabets represents upper and lower. So these are the parts of the subscapular now. So we have upper subscapular and lower subscapular. T represents thoracodorsal. R represents radial and A represents axillary. So these are the branches coming from the cords. So now there are some other branches which have different origins. So suppose there is one branch from arising from the C5 that is dorsal scapular. Another branch arising from C5, C6 and C7 we have long thoracic nerve. Now there are two nerves arising from the upper trunk. First one is nerve to subclavius. And the second one is suprascapular nerve. So this is this is it. Uh, the brachial plexus is done. So all you need is a couple of practice, and you can master brachial plexus. For now, goodbye.